Yeah, welcome to Austrian Stocks in English presented by Palfinger, the new and weekly English spoken summary for the Austrian stock market. Positioned every Sunday in the mostly German language podcast Christian Drastil, Wiener Börse, Sport, Musik und mehr. My name is Christian and I will be later on joined by the absolutely smart Allison. In week 42, ATXTR went slightly up, but remains with a year to date minus of 25%, clearly under 6000 points. Three stocks went up more, more than 10% this week. Rosenbauer with 13%, Semperit 12% and Palfinger 11%. And the last four of our 13th stock market tournaments are four former champions. Do and Co. defeated in the round of the last eight Unica, Maya Mellenhoff defeated Valneva, VIG defeated Raiffeisen Bank International and Palfinger defeated Telekom Austria. Next week we see semi-finals and finals and after that a double champion. If Do and Co, Maya Melnhoff or VIG comes out on top or a triple champion if Palfinger wins. In this case the trophy goes permanently into the possession of Hannes Reuter and Co at Palfinger. Look at bursasocial.com slash tournament. News came from Wiener Berger, Unica, Telekom Austria, UBM, Bavak, Lansing and Linz Textile. And these news are spoken now by the absolutely smart Allison. Thank you, Christian, for calling me absolutely smart. And these were the news of week 42, Monday. Wiener Berger. Wiener Berger is significantly expanding and transforming its roofing capability in the UK to further increase its exposure to the growing UK renovation market. These investments, designed to deliver organic growth from an increasingly efficient cost base will bring a welcomed increase in UK production capacity, whilst also implementing technological solutions to deliver on the decarbonisation element of Wiener Berger's ambitious sustainability roadmap. The facilities will combine new production technologies, helping to minimize the CO2 footprint from manufacture and will deliver additional new products that further lower CO2 emissions per square meter of installed roof. Wiener Berger, weekly performance, 1.03%. Tuesday, Unica, insurance group Unica opens its headquarter in Vienna for art. In the foyer of the Unica Tower, the artist Eva Petrick opened her current exhibition Celebrating Life. Unica CEO Andreas Brandstetter, an insurance company is a community based on solidarity. Many take on the risk of individuals. Insurance also means creating a safety net for ourselves, for our family for society as a whole especially in challenging times. Eva Petrick's art takes up this universal idea of a web of life in a variety of ways. Unica, weekly performance, 0.64%. A1 Telecom Austria, in the third quarter of the 2022 financial year, A1 Telecom Austria Group managed to increase both service revenues, plus 5.5%, and equipment revenues, plus 1.59%. The former grew on the basis of strong demand for high bandwidth products, successful upselling measures and positive roaming effects due to increased traveling. The latter benefited from a better supply of devices, from a large project in Austria as well as the first-time consolidation of Stimo, Bulgaria. Favorable exchange rate developments supported revenue growth by 14 million euros. This result came amid an increasingly challenging macroeconomic environment. Energy costs have been rising strongly driving inflation. A1 Telecom Austria Group cannot escape this development. In particular electricity costs went up strongly in Q3 compared to Q2, plus 196 percent to 37 million euros. The management expects this trend to continue and also affect other cost items. A focus lies on workforce costs as the collective bargaining process in Austria is expected to be concluded later this year. The situation in the supply chain has improved somewhat, but is still being closely monitored. Therefore, the management has launched efficiency measures to mitigate the increase in costs. Furthermore, contractual opportunities to increase prices in line with the consumer price index, price indexation, are being seized. Telecom Austria, weekly performance, minus 0.35%. Wednesday, UBM, following gold in the initial assessment last year, UBM development has now been awarded platinum by Ecovadis the highest rating awarded by Ecovadis. 
This puts UBM in the top 1% of all 100,000 companies assessed by Ecovadis worldwide. The assessment covers the four most important topics in the area of sustainability on the basis of 21 indicators, environment, labor and human rights, ethics and sustainable procurement. In all four categories, UBM development performs well above the industry average, not least due to the consequent implementation of the ambitious goals and measures, which are also communicated extensively and transparently in the ESG report. For us, sustainability is not only anchored in the group strategy Green Smart and More but sustainability is an attitude for us, says Thomas G. Winkler, CEO of UBM Development AG. UBM, weekly performance, minus 0.72%. Boag, Boag Group today released its results for the third quarter 2022, reporting a net profit, excluding City of Linz of Euro 132MN and Arats of 19.3%. The third quarter 2022 incorporated the full write-off of the City of Linz receivable. In August, the Austrian Supreme Court ruled that the swap contract entered between Boag and the City of Linz 15 years ago was invalid. As a result of the ruling, we took a pre-tax write-off of Euro 254 MN, equal to Euro 190 MN impact after tax, related to the City of Linz receivable on the balance sheet. Net loss in Q3 including City of Linz was Euro minus 58 MN. Borag, weekly performance, 1.09%. Thursday, UBM, the Vienna City Council approved the land use and zoning plan for the Leopold Karche on October 18th. UBM development can now start the realization of this quarter along Vienna's Danube Canal. Thomas G. Winkler, CEO of UBM Development AG, after a long wait, we can give the go-ahead for the largest projects currently in progress at UBM and, at the same time, make a strong contribution to sustainability in Vienna, offices, flats and service departments with 75,000 meters to the power of two of gross floor area. GFA will be built on five building sites with a combined total of 22,900 meters to the power of two along the Abir Donostress. The construction and operation of the individual buildings will emit as little CO2 as possible. The Leopold Karche represents the first completely timber hybrid construction urban quarter in Europe. Moreover, the consequent use of geothermal power and photovoltaics will make operations in the Leopold Karche CO2 free. Energy will be supplied entirely from renewable sources. In contrast to conventional district heating, the Leopold Karche will save approximately 300 tons of CO2 each year. UBM, weekly performance, minus 0.72%. Lensing, the Lensing Group, a world leading provider of specialty fibers for the textile and non woven industries, is reinforcing its commitment to circularity by becoming a partner in the SISUTAC, Circular and Sustainable Textile and Clothing project that is co-funded by the AU. The new consortium was established to support the transition to a circular and sustainable textile sector and, as well as lensing, the 27 consortium members include the industry association Euritex, textile company Inditex, PVH, Decathlon and Non, governmental organization Oxfam. For its part, lensing is focusing on the development of recycling processes for cellulose fibers in line with its own corporate strategy, lensing. Weekly performance, 1.64%. Friday, Linz Textile, debt to the high energy prices, Linz Textile is forced to close the Landeck site at the end of March, 2023. In Landeck, Austria, Linz Textile operates a modern cotton spinning mill. According to the company, the currently massive increase in energy prices would mean that production at internationally competitive prices would no longer be possible at the Landeck site. In view of exploding electricity costs, the cost advantage of Asian competitors has become unbridgeable. There will be a social plan for the employees affected, the company stated. And now bye-bye from Allison. And Christian, we wish you a great week. Hear you next Sunday.